Hello, my name is Lori Reiner. I'm the partner in charge of Eisner Amber in Philadelphia. We're a national accounting firm with national practices, and I'm here today with Josh Gross, who is president of Mill Creek Capital Advisors. So welcome, Josh. Thank you, Lori. It's a pleasure to be with you. Before we start talking about Mill Creek Capital Advisors, paint a picture for me about your background. What, was your, what were you doing before you started Mill Creek? So I graduated from Rutgers as an undergraduate, and while I was in, um, in college, I started buying student rental properties, uh, and then I went to Penn State, which had a fantastic real estate and finance program for an MBA. Uh, I came out of Penn State and worked for uh, a firm that was based in, in Wayne and Conshohocken, uh, had some great mentors in the process, and then um, started Mill Creek Capital Advisors in 2006 with Rich Stevens. So 35, you made the decision to start Mill Creek. Talk, talk a little bit about what, what was the motivating factor. So I had three very good mentors, and they were all entrepreneurs, they were all philanthropists, they all uh, were deeply dedicated to family and community, and Rich and I made the decision, as there was a change in ownership in our last firm, that it was time to do something better for our clients, for the employees, which in turn would be better for the new firm named Mill Creek, which was not terribly creative. Mill Creek ran along Rich Stevens' property in Gladwin is how we named it. Talk about like the original vision, so this, this concept of an outsourced investment officer. Can you talk a little bit about that and, and, and tell us a little bit about how that's grown over the years? So the outsourced chief investment officer uh, role was started about 25 years ago, 30 years ago, and the basic concept, there were several firms that we'll call it invented the wheel at, mm -hmm. at roughly the same time. And um, what the, the basic um, notion was that if you have multi-billion dollars you, and you can do anything, that you would engage an in-house chief investment officer, full staff, it's probably about a dozen people, uh, and they would work solely for you and you have enough buying power in order to be able to do anything that you need in the industry. The challenge is that that takes today probably about a billion and a half to two billion dollars to really do that well and be able to justify the cost of probably 10 to 15 million dollars a year for this full pure investment department. Um, our clients uh, are not multi-billion dollars. Our clients range anywhere from 10 million to a billion dollars in size. And our job is we've put them together as a buyer's co-op. We now are five and a half billion dollars and we go out to the street and we compress the pricing, passing everything directly along to our clients. We've also made it so that the older models of OCIO had oftentimes some uh, less advantageous tax um, um, interposing partnerships or mutual funds, and we've, all of our clients own their assets directly, so they're free and unencumbered. If they want to do charitable donations, if they actually want to depart, if there's any kind of any kind, they, the more freedom a client has, mm -hmm. the closer you are to that OCIO model, and that's what we adhere to. Provide us an overview about the company, assets under management, employees today. So today, Mill Creek is about five and a half billion dollars in assets. We're growing roughly twenty percent a year. Uh, we have our primary office is mm -hmm. It's one of the reasons we named it Mill Creek because uh, Conshohocken was tough enough. We didn't. I want to say uh, Schuylkill Capital or a, a Welsh and Lenny Lenape name mix. We uh, have primary office in Conshohocken, and then we also have uh, an office in New York, uh, in Manhattan. We have an office in Pittsburgh, and we have an office in Naples, Florida. Uh, and how we grow is when we have a base of clients, uh, we'll put someone on the ground to become a part of the fabric of that local community. Mm -hmm. And the core investment thinking, with the exception of Claire, who's in Pittsburgh, the core of the investment team is in uh, Conshohocken. Mm -hmm. Our clients are equally split between families, composed about half of our assets, and then endowments uh, and defined benefit pensions are the other half. 
So we have three types of, of clients, endowments, defined benefit pensions, and, and families. And they range typically from about uh, 10 million to about 750 million in assets with us.